Greetings, people of the world! Matthew back with you here in Avora Autism for the continuation of this blind let's play of The Legend of Dragoon. So, last time we had to endure a, a mi big, long boss duel against a Wendigo that took over half an hour to complete, but we were able to successfully hold out and endure and get the victory. And so after going to back to the peddlers to get my items restocked and everyone back up to or close to max stats, we can now move on to our next location. And yep, yeah, here it is over here. So we're continuing on the glacier or is this the start of the tower? Well, I won't know until I make the right moves. But yeah, this appears to be the place. And boy, does it look tall. Well, it is a tower, of course it is. This is the Tower of Flanvel. It's the ruin where the moon mirror was placed. It's a swirl. Yeah, it is. Again, this doesn't seem to be built by humans. No, it's not. According to the legend, it was the Wingley's floating fort during the Dragon Campaign. This can fly. It won't surprise me if it will. Wingleys in the past used to have an enormous amount of magic power. Then it wouldn't be strange if this much magic power is concealed in the Divine Moon objects. That would indeed be true. For the people of Sirio, for King Zyle, and Princess Emil. No, this is a life or death matter for all of Endernes. Indeed it is. That's even more of a reason. We must stop the ambitions of Lloyd here, even though we thoroughly expect to fail. Nonetheless, we have a plot to advance. So if you'll allow me to continue on, into the Tower of Flanvel. So do we have to climb the whole thing, or are we just simply going in the entrance and doing what has to be done? No, this is a, this is a maze style sort of thing. We start by getting a spirit ring, okay. So, spirit ring. Well, hold on before we can even do that. Um, item list. Go down to the bottom of it. And see what we're dealing with here. Well, we will once I can properly place myself on that accessory. Okay, what covers SP each turn? Okay. So it's basically like the therapy ring, is what it is. But, I don't know, I'm not really feeling like I'm in a desperate state right now, in terms of giving something like that to someone. Um, well, we can give the brass knuckle to Mr. Hoshel, that's not in dispute. But then, well, Alvador was already equipped with the spirit ring. So, there's no issue with him in that regard. Yeah, and he's not doing all that bad as far as... Oh, wait a minute. Don't I currently have a... Oh, I do, but it's um, one of the um, accessories that Mary was currently equipped with. That gives her the 50%. But I can't remember exactly what it was. Ah, whatever. We'll just continue on. So yeah, now the challenge becomes, where do we go? Which paths do we take to get ourselves up the Tower of Flanvel? And what will we be fighting in this tower? Or is it the same opponents as before? It is the same opponents as before. Maybe this is just for before we get in. Ouch. Okay, starting off with Meru. And not starting off the way I want to. Okay, Albert, go. Rod Typhoon. Here's a successful Rod Typhoon, and that's enough to kill it. That's what we want. Okay, now Dart. Always stuck on three. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have him use Crush Dance from this point forward, because we're obviously getting nowhere with what he's currently using. So swing away there, Meru. 
and get the kill doing it. Alright. Way to go, Meru. And it's not often she gets the winning blow, but she did it this time. Yeah, I think I've found the equivalent of Rose's hard blade attack as far as sheer difficulty of getting the timing down. So, Dart will just have him stick to Crush Dance. I, I could take a chance at trying to learn Moonstrike, but I'd, I'd rather hold off for now. I'd rather stick with something I know I can do as opposed to something I can't currently do. Okay, so yeah, here's where the maze element begins. Oh, wait a- Oh, okay. It, it's- all these pods are like anti-gravity. And each of them corresponds to a direction to go. Alright, well, that, let's try and stick with what gets us further down the line. And hopefully it's correct. Well, so far so good. Do we want to go in there, or do we want to... Oh, there was a chest over here! With a mage ring. Alright, sweet! Alright, let's take the next one, and go up higher. Yeah, this crazy maze. How much of it do we have to deal with? Okay, um... Okay, there's only one option. Alright, so go over here. And then... Do I want to use this one? I do want to use this one. And just like that, we're at the summit. Well, that is very good. And the moon mirror is being used. Either that or... The dragon spirit of the divine dragon is resonating! But with who? Well... Lloyd, we finally cornered him! But are we gonna get a piece of him before it's too late? Okay. Save point. Save point, quickly. Okay, not hurting for anything. Although... Now this is the thing. Someone told me that... When we cross paths with Lloyd and fight him in a duel, I need someone to be equipped with the talisman because Lloyd will only target those who have gone to Dragoon mode. And so, because of that, he will, would use the Dragon Buster, which would result in an automatic kill. But if you have the Talisman on, that negates it. And thus, he would end up wasting a lot of attacks. So, let's save the game first, and then make my decision on who to give the talisman to, because I do have one. It then becomes a matter of who to give it to. Because my thinking on this is to give it to Meru, because of the fact that she would be our primary healer. Thus, if she cannot be killed off, it would make sense to equip the talisman on her. So, with that in mind... Oh, wait a minute, oh, wait a minute. Did I... Okay. Rise hmm. from death and probability. Okay, where's my talisman? Right here. Okay. What would the... War God Sash raise this SP by 50%? Okay. That's... I'm not all that worried. If we can... If this is what I think it is, and I keep having Meru use Dragoon, and from what I've been told, if Lloyd will keep going after the Dragoon with the Dragon Buster, then I should be able to nerf this battle. But we'll see what happens. By the way, how much SP does S Meru currently have? She's maxed out. So up we go, to the top of the Tower of Flanville. If the information I've been given is reliable, we should have getting ourselves a long way. Oh, and that that is... Okay, yeah, he is now a Dragoon as Lloyd. 
I appreciate your cooperation. What are you? He's Dragoon number eight is what he is. Hi, Lloyd. Here they are. And he has all three Divine Moon objects now. I just got all three Divine Moon objects, as we expected, of course. Now the world will be reborn into the utopia that Emperor Diaz and I desire. The world will be reborn. What are you talking about? You should know, your majesty. The evolutionary plan created by the Great Will Soa. And the flow of evolution woven by the Divine Tree. You humans are merely the 106th in the plan. And we Winglies are the 107th. I desire the 108th evolution. I desire your utopia created by the last species. For that, I will use every conceivable means. <laughs> that's all- that's all you want to say? I'll let my sword say the rest. Shall we finish up? That's what we came here for. Time to find out if the information I was given by my viewers is reliable. It's time to finally get our match with Lloyd. As a Dragoon. Okay. So, until such a time that it warrants it, we will attack under normal circumstances. Okay. Meru, start us out. Ah, couldn't quite get it. Albert, go. Ah, too soon. Yeah, we can't have this happening. What do you have in mind, Lloyd? And he's taken off somewhere. Now our fourth battle against an evil Dragoon. Are these missiles? And those are glowing like futuristic missiles. And they go to embed in a, in a corner. And then they're gonna target us. And then we're gonna get pretty good damage against us. Whoa, where- Why are we going to the Shadow Realm? This isn't Yu-Gi-Oh! Alright, Lloyd, get done with it. How much damage? For all those theatrics, how much was it? I think we- everyone got halved. Yeah, I'd pretty much go so far as to say that would be the case. Okay, so, Dart, go. Crush Dance for 485. And what is... Okay, he's doing Wingly Ninjutsu. Is it just Dart? Or is that one? Yeah, everyone's gonna suffer. Everyone's gonna suffer from this attack. Thankfully, we're all still standing. Alright, Meru. I do believe you are going to be using Healing Breeze this turn. Yeah, because there's no need yet for you to go Dragoon. Although, it could be helpful if I do. Okay, Alberts, go. Successful Rod Typhoon for 422. Well, his damage is consistent. <laughs> and he's going after Meru. For 376. Alright, Meru will have to heal herself next turn. Dart, go. Got the Crush Dance for 485. It is Meru's turn. She will heal herself this turn with a Healing Fog. There we go. A thousand points back for Meru. <laughs> and this time the attack is against Alberts. 244. Not devastating. Right. Meru? Perfect. On the hammer spin. For 188. Yeah, it seems like our attack remains consistent. Carrying over from the Wendigo battle. 
Oh, now letting out a whole bunch of attacks. Yeah, rapid fire. And then... Ooh, charging for a real painful shot. Oh, it one's against Meru. Ooh, did she survive? Well, she did. Yeah, thankfully she was at full. Successful crush dance, 485. But you can't help but wonder how much HP does Lloyd have. I'm getting my additions down, that's what I want to have happen. And now for his next ninjutsu. Wait a minute, we've seen this ninjutsu already. Oh no, this is different. This is a different ninjutsu. Uh, how much is this gonna hurt? Uh, not devastating. Oh, but then Lloyd comes with an encore. And so we'll need to heal Albert, I believe, this turn. Actually, it looks like we could all use it. Alright, healing breeze number two. Get our HP back. And then it starts turn. And there we go. 485 more. And it's Lloyd's turn. Goes after Albert again. Yeah, it's too bad you can't use your full fury yet, can you there, Mr. Lloyd? Oh, we got him into the yellow already? This, this scene feels too easy. It feels like there's more to this. It feels like there's more to this battle than what we're currently doing because we cannot be finishing him off this quick unless we're going to fight him again later, which, yeah, it's too early for, um... I, it feels like it's too early for a final confrontation. If I feel like... If we're bleeding through his HP this quickly, there will be multi more encounters in Disc 4. Oops, a little trigger happy there. Oh, and that time it's a miss. Yeah, is this now where Lloyd is showing off his real agility? <coughs> yeah, because he had been holding back for a long time. But is this the point now where we simply cannot touch him? Well, apparently not if we're still getting our additions in. And now what does Lloyd do? Oh, this move again. And he's gonna do rapid fire again. I think only Albert needs to be healed this turn. And charge it up, and fire. Okay, it's against start. For 558. Okay, not worried about start or Meru. Albert is the main concern right now, but we're doing okay so far. Oops, too soon again. Can't have that. Alright. Healing Fog to Albert. 1180. And then Lloyd continues on his regular attacks. And he doesn't score this time. That's good. Ah, too slow. Yeah, we know, Lloyd. We know. Ah, too late that time. And now for his next move. And he's gonna juggle Dart for a while, and then kick him down for good measure. 580. Okay. Not yet worried about Dart, so let's just keep going. We've got Lloyd in the red. But this is a miss. And is this gonna become more common now? We are, we are still getting our points. That's what we want. 
to play it safe. Meru. Give a healing fog to darts. But I can't help but wonder, is there going to be a second form to this? Because this is going way too fast. So dart will take another 580. Ugh. Meru, go. Ah, couldn't quite get it. And so a simple knockback this time. Albert, go. Add ah, too slow. Dart. Ah, I had a feeling I was going to be too quick on it and I was right. Uh, maybe I'm getting a little too enthusiastic towards the end here. He still keeps going. It's against Meru for... 376. I'm shocked I haven't seen his ultimate attack again yet. But, <laughs> yeah, knock on wood. Perfect. 485. Near the end. Um, well, this could be. Yeah. Knock on wood. Well, <laughs> now I'm definitely getting knocked. Yeah, because, yeah, here come the magical missiles again. Yeah, I just had to say it, didn't I? I just had to say it. And so now we go and get my butt handed to me again. Because I had to open my big mouth. We go back to the Shadow Realm, we go back into Yu Gi Oh! And then we're gonna suffer a lot. Ah, me and my big mouth. What can I say? There's a reason they call it the LP curse. Ah. Ooh, darts looking worse for wear. Thankfully, we still have two healing breezes left. And one will obviously need to be used this turn. Although, to be honest, I should have had Meru go Dragoon there. That, that would have been a proper and appropriate time to use it. Broad Typhoon for 422. And here's the finishing blow from darts. And the battle is over. But is there another one immediately following it? Well, here comes dart on the charge. But Lloyd escapes. Still a Dragoon, and still with all three Divine Mood Objects in tow. Uh, what's Dart doing? He's not gonna go Dragoon, is he? I mean, he knows what's, what Lloyd possesses. Is this gonna be like a one-on-one -on -one standoff now? Whoa, who's intervening? Um, yeah, you, you're not someone I'm familiar with. And this young lady wants to get in the way of this battle. And take the killing blow for Lloyd. A young lady out of nowhere serves as his human shield. Please forgive Lloyd? For wh Why? Are you the reason that he wants to create the utopia that he wants? That's it, isn't it? Oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, we just had a turn out of nowhere. Yeah, a spirit comes out of nowhere. We end up killing it, and it asks us to beg forgiveness for Lloyd. Even despite all he's done, and it's quite obvious that this young lady is the reason why the utopia that he wants is the one he seeks. So, everyone gets 4,000 experience points, no one died in this battle this time. We all gain levels, plus Dart gets his fifth Dragoon level. And learns the magic, Red-Eyed Dragon. But no one else gained a level. That's shocking. Only the main party gained levels. That's new. But, we have all the reason in the world to be shocked. 
Albert, don't you need to be upstairs? Oh no, that was Albert, or that was Lloyd's line. Lloyd could love it. I trust Dot with everything. He will bring us the right answer. So Dart is still up there. Trying to figure out what the heck just happened. So, back up in the Tower of Flanville. Why indeed? Why did a girl come out here to beg for forgiveness for you? Why did you shield me? I took many people's lives away for my own ideal and the Divine Moon objects. Oh, wait a minute, I know who that is. That's Wink. I... Dart just struck down Wink. Oh, no. I used you. Yeah, I didn't... I didn't realize who it was until we get to this scene, because, yeah. The dress Wink was wearing was blue in that last cutscene before the battle was officially declared over, but here she's wearing a black blouse. I, I don't get it. <laughs> Why did they palette swap there? But yeah, now we know that we just killed off one of the Sacred Sisters of Milsa So, or are about to have officially done it, but she's gonna get her death scene. Even if it is the truth, the fact that you saved me is still true. Besides, your death won't solve anything. What about your death, Wink? Shauna was taken away! Yeah, we knew this was gonna happen. But it wasn't... By the man named Emperor Diaz! He told us to bring the three Divine Moon Objects and Lloyd and come to Velwen! Emperor Diaz, finally he has begun to take action by himself. Now take them to him. You're not gonna entrust me with it? Even without me, my utopia will be built by Emperor Diaz. I completed all my tasks. Now I have to settle up for what I have done so far. Kill me and go to Velweb. I dedicate my death to your departure! You're actually gonna allow it? <coughs> that would be a no. Is it out of pity? Your death... won't bring... anyone back. Anybody who died back! So he'll just be allowed to continue to do it. Lloyd, I'm gonna make you see it through to the end. You should take your sword back there, Dart. Is this the power that drives them? You would think so, wouldn't you? But yeah, Velwa would be in the Death Frontier, right? And so now... Well, we don't know. Shauna was... Oh, he has to tell them. When we go there, we can reveal the truth about the Emperor Diaz. Whoever he is, he is dangerous. Besides, it is unforgivable to take our dear Shauna as a hostage for his utopia or whatever. Exactly, I'll beat him up whoever he is. <laughs> we know you will, Meru. Queen Teresa, we are heading to Velweb, and we need the... I understand. I will let you have the moon mirror. Do we get there from where we currently are? Maybe we were in denial, surrounding ourselves with a comfortable life. That really was stagnant. Yes, we humans are not the only species, and all species were given life by Sola's plan. 
now is the time to remember the assault of the Divine Dragon, the existence of Wingleys, the Divine Moon Objects, the Utopia that Lloyd and Emperor Diaz desire, and you Dragoons. Everything is forcing us to remember it, as if things were manipulated by some great will called fate. Even if, even if so, I don't care. I will take Shauna back, even from fate. Miranda, you are one of the dragoons. Go with Dart. Discover the meaning of the fate given by Soa. And so that is what we will do, I guess. So, how to get to Velweb? Oh. And the queen going back with her knights. Along with the wounded sister Wink. Thank for, good thing she's still standing. Oh, and there's Lloyd. Can I ask you one question? Yeah. Why did you save Wink twice? I had no reason for doing that, but yet you did it anyway. Acquired the Moon Mirror, the Dagger, and the Moon Gem. And did Lloyd just join our party? No, of course not. Yeah, that's that would be a ludicrous thought. Um, anyway. Yeah, it doesn't- it didn't tell us how to get to Velweb. Maybe we have to leave through the Kashwa Glacier or something. Um, I'll go ahead and- or maybe we get through here, or- no, we don't. Um, so yeah, f this is the entrance to the tower. How do we get back out in order to go to Velweb? Um, I- to be honest, I really don't know. I, I see a chest over here. Let's go ahead and get it. What are we getting our hands on? Rave Twister. Um, I would assume this is an attack item. Let's see. Well, it could also be an attack... Uh, nope, it's an attack item. It's an attack item, as we surmised. So... Hmm. I guess I might as well just go to the save point because actually I do know how to get to Velweb. It's by that one path that we couldn't take before back in the Kashwa Glacier. So yeah, I'll meet you guys at that rendezvous point in the next episode. Yeah, we know, yeah, they gave us two paths, so we took one, we obviously now know where the other one goes. And so next time, we will make our way there in order to get to the town where Emperor Diaz is holding Shana hostage. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of this blind let's play of The Legend of Dragoon. And when I join you again, we will begin our journey to Velweb to try and confront the Emperor Diaz who is holding Shauna hostage. Yeah, I really would have thought it was going to be Lloyd who was going to do that, but now we know differently. And we'll hopefully we'll get an, a an answer in the next episode. So until next time everyone, this is Matthew at Novora Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.